This is uh, the Lamore test crop. There's a five acre test field. These are all the male plants that pop their flowers. They seeded all the female plants, pollinated all the uh, female plants, so now they're, they're seeding. First week of September, you started seeing flowering, initiation of flowering, end of August, first week of September with this variety. And we're basically at seed maturity now. The plant is a short day plant, so you start flowering depending on days getting shorter, right? But the plant also has a baked in juvenile growth period. So what we've found with these varieties is that's about 42 days. So 42 days plus 60 days of after flowering to set seed. So about 102 days is the minimum amount of time. So if you know if you were to if you were to take the seed, plant it in a grow room or a greenhouse where you have control of the light cycle and you just have it at, at 12 hours of light the whole time, it'd be about 102 days. Now you might have more time depending on your, your light cycle with the sun. So if you were to plant in like June, it would grow all through June, all through July, August, then you start flowering in September, versus if you plant in August, you know, it'll start flowering in September pretty much right after it's, it's, it's finished its juvenile growth. If you want to grow for grain or for seed production, you'll want a lower density than with fiber because you can, you can get more yields off of the plants having enough space to get full sun on these buds, you get more even ripening. And that's why um, on the grain side or seed production side, people have found that about 400,000 plants per acre is where you, you plateau in terms of your yields. And for fiber, you're looking at 800,000 to a million plants per acre. So it's like double the density. This is what we get. Now like this is just, you know, one big bud of seeds. Like if you were just to really start rolling it, you can see the seeds that just fall right out of it. You know, these are all now mature seeds, probably 90%. You can see the, the seed structure. We've got some big seeds in here. So you can see like, you know, that, that's a nice ripe seed. So what we'll do is we'll blow the dust off and we'll get the seeds from our crop here. The thing about seed production is right now we're buying seed from China in this strain to do this. What we want to do is harvest the seed here. So we're in a unique area here in the Central Valley. We can go far into the season and still not worry about a frost. So this is the place where the seed production for hemp is gonna happen for the rest of the country, at least with these Yuma and Jinma strains, these Chinese land race strains. I believe this is truly gonna be the, the seed capital area. You know, fiber is a, is a huge byproduct now, I think of the seed for here, and then we should be able to supply the rest of the country with a quality seed.